Scott X1307 once again uh, back with the latest flea market haul <clears throat> went to, uh, to the flea market this weekend it was uh, cold again not too many people out and was able to pick up some pretty good stuff so uh, we'll get right into this here now uh, first thing I got here is this little uh, Ash can, ash can size uh, book. It was from Advanced Comics uh, back in the 90s, and it's about uh, Grendel. Gives a little breakdown of the uh, chronological uh, history of the stories. Uh, a little info on the character and uh, how it changed over the years and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, that was free. Um, I only have one uh, one Marvel book from the 20 cent books this week. Uh, it was Amazing Adventures number 21, War of the Worlds. Um, it's in rough shape. It's got some staining. But it's 20 cents. Be a good read. So you got Kill Raven there. Uh, and some DC books. Uh, found another copy of Static number one. From uh, Milestone Media, DC Comics in the 90s. Uh, this one's still bagged. Hasn't been opened. Uh, that's the second copy of that I found. Uh, this was pretty cool. Um, it's got a little writing on the cover. Uh, but it's not in terrible shape. Uh, I picked it up. It's a Brave and the Bold. It's a Whitman variant. Uh, Batman and Commandy, I'm not sure what issue number it is. It's, they're never on the front of the Whitman variants, but uh, well, that's pretty cool. Batman and Commandy there. You can see it's got some issues on the spine. Like I said, it's got some writing here. But, uh, yeah, 20 cents. Uh, I picked this up because it's uh, Jim Starlin. It's uh, Gilgamesh 2, Volume 1 from DC. This is a uh, thick prestige format book um, well, looks pretty cool it's Jim Starlin um, grab this uh, I think I have this little story complete now all three issues uh, Batman 452 Dark Knight Dark City this is uh, part one these all have Magnolia covers and uh, here is part two, uh, Batman 453. Uh, I grabbed this uh, cheap Neil Adams art. This is um, Superman and Batman. Uh, it's one of those uh, DC um, issues they put out for charities and things. Uh, this is Heroes Against Hunger. You've got uh, Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor on the cover. Really cool. And you see there, it's Neil Adams. 20 cents. I finally found issue 4 of uh, Robocop vs. Terminator. Getting into the indie books here. Um, so I have this uh, complete. Read this, and uh, this is it's actually a really good miniseries. Um, Frank Miller and Walter Simonson. Uh, if you never picked this up, never read it, find it uh, cheap, I'd highly recommend it. I grabbed these. It's uh, Arthur Adams. Uh, this is from Dark Horse, the legend imprint that was going around in the 90s. It's uh, Monkey Man and O'Brien, uh, issue one. And issue two. I couldn't find issue three, but I'm sure I'll find it up there eventually. Uh, and this was uh, neat. Uh, finally found this uh, Concrete Eclectica number one I've had uh, issue two for uh, a few months so, it's got a neat back cover to it Paul Chadwick art it's an awesome character uh, so. always recommend picking up some concrete if you find it you can usually find them pretty cheap uh, then I found some more Nexus issues um, this is not uh, Steve Rude art, but it is uh, Paul Smith. 
They did uh, a little run on the X-Men, things like that. Uh, this is uh, Nexus number 37 from First Comics. I like Paul Smith's art as well. I think he did uh, some romance books and stuff before uh, doing some X-Men in the 80s. Uh, issue 38. It's also Paul Smith. And I uh, was surprised to see uh, the name on here, uh, Nexus number 57. Um, it's Mike Barron and Adam Hughes. You can just see a touch of his current style, you know, in this early work here. Um, signature is definitely different. This is from 88. thought that was pretty cool, though. Ha! Check this out. On the backs that I had for Beauty and the Beast. Remember the old TV show? That's uh, Hellboy before he was Hellboy. Um, pick these up. Um, used to hear a lot about this little indie series. Um, back in the day, not so much anymore. But it's uh, A Distant Soil from Warp Graphics. Um, I believe the first three issues are like magazine format. I have found the issue number one at, there before. Uh, when I picked up issue number six, that's pretty cool looking fantasy. And he's got Panda Khan, I believe I remember him from the Turtles. I believe he showed up in there with like Usagi Ojimbo. Here's uh, issue seven. It's a uh, cool painted style fantasy art. And issue number eight. Um, <clears throat> and then picked this up for the heck of it. Uh, it's a 90s Valiant. This is uh, Archer and Armstrong number one. Frank Miller cover. Never a big fan of Archer and Armstrong, but uh, I figured what the hell. Now the rest of these are priced books. He said he had... Uh, a lot of new stuff, and uh, I hit these books up first. So uh, I grabbed this because it's Harley went on the cover, uh, Suicide Squad number four, and it was a dollar, twenty-five percent off. Neat cover. Here, what the heck? Uh, it's really cool to find these uh, two issues here. Uh, it's 2001 Space Odyssey. This is issue number four. It's Jack Kirby art and story. This thing was also a dollar. And uh, yeah, issue number four and then issue number six. It's also a dollar. Um, I was surprised to, to find this. Um, I know this book is like a ten, fifteen dollar book. Sometimes uh, I've seen it go on eBay for about twenty before. Uh, it's Walking Dead number one, Image First reprint. It's dollar fifty, so I figured, what the hell, I picked that up. I don't have a Walking Dead number one reprint or anything, so now I do. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, Supernatural Thrillers number eight from Marvel Comics, featuring the Living Mummy. This is like third or fourth appearance, I think. It's really cool. It was uh, $4. Uh, and then uh, Daredevil 161. This book's in pretty good shape, but um, to show you this, the cover is uh, cut funny. As you can see, it had the front cover has this overhang. That's just really weird. Uh, it's like it was just it was cut. So, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it was four dollars also. Uh, it's featuring a uh, bullseye there, as you can see, and a uh, black widow. Uh, this book was uh, this was really neat to find. Uh, it's Just a League of America number one thirty-eight. Um, I believe this is from the first volume. Uh, this is uh, Adam Strange, Enemy of Earth. It's got Superman, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, all the 
the heavy hitters there. All by Neil Adams. Four bucks, 25% off. And this book is in uh, pretty good shape. Um, probably fine. No major creases, no tears. Um, it's off white pages. Really cool. Um, and I found uh, this Marvel Premiere number six with Doctor Strange. Uh, looks like a, a man thing type creature there. It's a uh, shambler from the sea. The only issue with this is this little nick up here. Other than that, it's in good shape. Uh, it was five dollars, twenty percent, uh, twenty-five percent off. So, uh, and there were uh, there were three other books I picked up. I picked up a copy of Superman number one thirty-nine from volume one. It's um, it's on the cover. It's got Superman and uh, Lori Lamaris, the uh, the mermaid girl, and Lois Lane. And it's where uh, Superman is telling Lois Lane, you know, goodbye. He's decided to go and join, uh, become a merman, and join Atlantis. And I picked that up for my girlfriend. Um, it was in pretty rough shape, uh, a little browning on the cover, but everything was intact. Uh, wasn't creased real bad, anything like that. Um, you had a pretty good deal on it. So uh, even in a 2.0, it's like a $34 book, and I paid way less than that. So, and she liked that. Um, it's a mermaid character, which she's into, and she's been looking for that book. Happened to be there. Uh, there's also an issue, uh, Supergirl number 8, I think, I picked up and gave to her. And a Superman, uh, or an action, maybe an adventure comics. It's a cover where uh, it's an older issue of Silver Age. Uh, Supergirl is, uh, you see her legs on the cover, Superman standing in the background, and she's just stomped on the bottle CD of Candor. I think it's a Neil Adams cover. Um, I, give, I gave that to her. But uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep it because it's Neil Adams. <laughs> but uh, anyway, last two uh, books I've got here. These are new books, or newer. Uh, it just came out a couple weeks ago or so. And um, it's the same issue, two different covers. But um, I picked them up. I actually thought one, I thought it was a five issue miniseries for some reason. But uh, it's Death of Wolverine, issue number four. Got the regular. I think it's the regular cover there, the uh, hollow foil stuff with Death carrying Wolverine. And he also had uh, this variant uh, cover by Greg Land. It shows Wolverine and his different incarnations from Weapon X to the original Herb Trimpy suit to the 90s yellow. Uh, there he is uh, just in his regular clothing and then the brown costume. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, he had those both five bucks or four ninety nine cover price, but uh, twenty five percent off, so less than cover price, which is good for me. All right, and that'll do it. That's it. Um, <clears throat> picked up uh, picked up some pretty neat stuff. Not as good as last week with all the Kirby uh, DC books, but uh, picked up some Kirby this week as well. Always up for some Kirby goodness, especially at a dollar. Man. But, uh, all right, thank you guys for uh, tuning in, watching the video. I appreciate it. Um, keep an eye out. Contest is ending. I've got up. It's ending on the 27th, so we've got about a week, um, five days. Um, yeah, something like that. No, the 20. Excuse me, the 29th, I believe. Double check that. Watch the video. I'll leave a link below my uh, one year uh, anniversary on YouTube uh, contest so I've got about 10 11 entries so far it's really cool and uh, anybody else you know go ahead you still got time to put up a video would appreciate it so thanks everybody for watching um, you guys take care and like always keep reading those books later